Have you ever wondered why we can't just leave Earth and explore the universe? It's a tantalizing question, isn't it? But here's the thing. Our beautiful blue home is more akin to a prison than you might think. Now, before you raise an eyebrow, let's delve into the science of why that's the case. The culprit here is gravity, an invisible force that works tirelessly to keep everything, from the smallest speck of dust to the tallest skyscraper, firmly grounded. Imagine gravity as a relentless warden, ensuring nothing escapes its clutches. But what if we want to leave? What if we want to break out of this celestial jail and venture into the cosmos? Well, that's where things get tricky. You see, to escape Earth's gravitational pull, we need to repay what's called a gravity debt. In essence, gravity debt is the energy required to overcome the force of gravity. Just like a prisoner planning a breakout needs to overcome physical barriers, we need to overcome this gravitational barrier. And let me tell you, it's no small feat. Now you might be thinking, well, we have rockets, don't we? Yes, indeed we do. Rockets convert chemical energy into kinetic energy through explosive fuel reactions, essentially giving them the thrust to push away from Earth. But here's the catch. Much of this energy is used up battling heat, exhaust, and the drag of our atmosphere. And the process of controlling this burn is so complex that it requires heavy, often unwieldy rockets. To put it in perspective, we often need rockets that are about a hundred times the weight of the payload just to launch. Even reaching low Earth orbit is a significant challenge. To do this, we use multi-stage rockets that shed their boosters and main stages as they ascend. But even with maximum thrust, there's a limit to a rocket's weight, beyond which it simply won't take off. So, Earth, our beautiful blue planet, is actually a prison, shackling us with its gravitational pull. But what if we want to break free? But what does it mean to have a gravity debt? And how do we repay it? Well, let's dive right into it. Our planet Earth doesn't want to let us go that easily. The force of gravity pulls everything towards the center of the Earth. And this is what we call our gravity debt. To escape this gravitational pull, we need to repay this debt with a huge amount of energy. This is where rockets come into play. They convert chemical energy into kinetic energy, the energy of motion. Imagine this, a rocket is essentially a controlled explosion. The fuel inside the rocket undergoes an explosive chemical reaction and this energy is directed outwards in the form of exhaust. This exhaust propels the rocket in the opposite direction, away from Earth, helping it repay its gravity debt. Sounds simple enough, right? But hold your horses. It's not that straightforward. A large chunk of this energy is expended fighting against heat, exhaust, and atmospheric drag. These are the nitty-gritty details that make rocket science, well, rocket science. Moreover, the tightly controlled explosion that propels the rocket needs a big, heavy structure to contain it. We're talking about rockets that often weigh almost 100 times the weight of the payload they're carrying. Now that's a lot of weight to lift off the ground. Even getting a rocket into low Earth orbit is a task in itself. This is why we use multi-stage rockets that shed their boosters and main stages as they ascend, each stage lightening the load and pushing the rocket further up. But even with a rocket's maximum thrust, there's a limit to how heavy it can be before it just won't take off. It's a delicate balance of weight, energy, and a whole lot of science. Now we understand the price we must pay to escape the gravitational pull of our home planet. But is there a way to cheat this system? Let's find out in our next segment. How can we overcome these monumental challenges and escape Earth's gravitational pull? Well, as of now, our best bet is to use rockets. But not just any rocket, mind you. We're talking about multi-stage rockets. These are the heavyweights of the space industry. They're like a stack of rockets all bundled together, each one called a stage. As the rocket ascends, it sheds the stages one by one. This lightens the load, allowing the remaining stages to push higher and farther into space. However, this isn't a simple ride. The rocket takes on a titanic struggle against Earth's gravity, a battle fought with fire and smoke. The rocket's engines convert chemical energy into kinetic energy through explosive fuel reactions. The exhaust from these reactions is then directed outwards, propelling the rocket away from the Earth. But as we know, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The energy used to propel the rocket upwards also creates heat, exhaust, and atmospheric drag. These forces work against the rocket, trying to pull it back down to Earth. And that's not all. The process of burning the fuel is a complicated one, requiring large heavy rockets. In fact, to launch something into space, you might need a rocket close to 100 times the weight of the payload. Even with all this, reaching low Earth orbit is a challenge. 
And once there, the rocket has just about exhausted its fuel. It's like sprinting a marathon only to realize you've just crossed the starting line. There's a limit to the maximum thrust a rocket can achieve. And beyond a certain weight, it simply won't take off. So, for now, we're stuck with these massive, complex machines to repay our gravity debt and break free from Earth's grasp. But who knows what the future holds? Maybe we'll see advancements in propulsion technology or even discover new laws of physics that could make space travel more feasible. So, escaping Earth's gravitational prison is no easy task, but with the right tools and a lot of energy it could be possible. What might the future hold for us, the would-be explorers of the universe? As we gaze into the cosmos, we can foresee a future where space travel becomes easier and more accessible. The key lies in the evolution of technology and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. Think about propulsion systems that could replace our current fuel-guzzling rockets like nuclear or ion propulsion. Imagine spacecraft that harness the power of the sun's rays, or even the manipulation of space-time itself to traverse the vast distances of space. Moreover, consider the potential of reusable rockets, reducing cost and waste, making space travel more sustainable. And let's not forget about the ongoing research into materials and technologies that could shield astronauts from the harsh conditions of space. These advancements are not just science fiction. They are the product of continued research and development, of daring to dream and reach beyond our current capabilities. So while Earth may be a prison, it's one we're learning to escape. Who knows what the future might hold for us, the explorers of the universe?